The whole time our planet exists, there were about 10 million different species of animals. Some ancient species have survived to this day, but most of them have been extinct long before our time. But what if we told you that some animals literally rise up from the dead? <laughs> This is genetic proof. Are you surprised? So are we. Today, we're going to tell you about those animals that were considered extinct but were recently discovered again. Let's get started. Imagine walking through the forest on a warm summer day and suddenly in the bushes you notice a dinosaur. Clever girl. A real live dinosaur, a fossil that clearly shouldn't be alive. But the dinosaur does his dinosaur business quietly and has no problems at all. Would you be surprised? You'd probably be shocked. Naturalist Marjorie Courtney Latimer experienced about that kind of emotion in 1938 when she discovered Latimeria, a fish considered extinct 65 million years ago. Local fishermen caught Latimeria and immediately called Marjorie because they realized something strange had gotten into their net. Today, there are two species of Latimeria that can be seen along the Indian Ocean and Indonesia coasts, and they're definitely far from extinction. Fernandina Giant Tortoise Tortoises are considered one of the oldest creatures on Earth. The tortoise fossils have been traced for over 220 million years, which is a hell of a long time. Many species have been extinct in that time, but not the tortoise of Fernandina Island. It was last seen in the Galapagos Islands in 1906, and it's been considered extinct since. It's not surprising, it's quite a large creature, so it's difficult to miss. However, in 1964 and 2013, something that was considered tortoise droppings Look at that! Look at the size of that! It's bigger than my hand. This, this is 100% genetic proof that the animal is still alive. And traces of cactus bites were discovered. The International Union for Conservation of Nature, which was ready to name the tortoise in honor of Fernandina Island, quickly changed its mind and classified it as almost extinct. So in February 2018, members of the expedition from the National Park and Galapagos Conservancy Organization finally found the adult female turtle and almost went crazy with happiness. Holy, the tortoise is right here! Wow. <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> After 112 years! Tasmanian Tiger The rediscovery of the Tasmanian Tiger, or as it's sometimes called the Tasmanian Wolf, is shrouded in mystery. For a long time, this funny striped animal has been considered extinct since about 1936. The reasons were quite simple. Hunting human activity, and unfriendly dogs. Many species disappeared this way, but in 2016, suddenly, there were reports that people saw a Tasmanian tiger. They were first documented in September 2016, but the number of observations began to increase in 2018 and 2019. Some witnesses stumbled upon suspicious tracks. Others saw live Tasmanian tigers and described them quite accurately. So far, scientists have no 100% confirmation that these animals have returned from the dead, but it seems to be a matter of time. Well, shall we wait? Wallace's Giant Bee A long time ago, when the Earth had a very different climate, the grandfathers of modern creatures lived everywhere, and they were greatly increased in size, like the giant dragonflies. Fortunately, they're all extinct or evolved into smaller individuals, or not all of them. The Wallace's giant bee was first discovered in Indonesia in 1859, and it's really a giant insect, almost 1.5 inches long with a wingspan of over 2.36 inches. It's quite difficult not to notice such a bee, but soon after its discovery, the number of these insects decreased so much that it was almost extinct. The Wallace's giant bee was last seen on the Indonesian island of Bakan in 1981, and this was already considered a rediscovery. But then the bees disappeared again for 37 years. Unexpectedly, in 2018, two insects were collected in Indonesia and sold on eBay. What? Protection of rare species? Finally, World Wildlife Fund researcher Clay Bolt discovered the female of a Wallace's giant bee in 2019. This is Megachi Pluto, the world's largest bee and something I've dreamed of seeing for about nine years. And confirmed that this insect still exists. Just trying to stay away from people. And you know what? We can't blame them for that. Chacoan peccary. For the first time, a Chacoan peccary. <sighs> Sounds pretty weird, okay? 
This animal, which looks like a wild pig, was first discovered in 1930. It wasn't alive, though. People found fossils and described the species by then. Well, and if it's been fossilized, it was long extinct. Case closed. That's what everyone thought, until 1971, when peccaries were found alive in one of Argentina's provinces. Locals knew that species well, but it took some time for scientists to acknowledge its existence. That's always the way. You think you found an unknown ancient creature, and this is just a local wild pig. Today, there are about 3,000 peccaries in the world, and they are endangered. Their main problems are diseases and hunting, but to prevent peccaries from extinction a second time, some individuals are kept in North America and European zoos. Vietnam Mouse Deer one day, nature decided to combine a deer and rabbits to see what happens. The result is a creature called mouse deer, and it looks like, well, it's like a mouse deer. A tiny animal the size of a rabbit, weighing about 11 pounds and lives exclusively in Vietnam. Mice deer have something like fangs, but no horns, and they look as absurd as possible. This strange species was first described in 1910. Then people managed to meet a tiny Vietnam mouse deer in wildlife three more times. Since then, the mice deer have been considered not extinct, but endangered. Scientists had hoped very much that somewhere in the depths of the forest you could still find that unusual animal. And they were lucky. In 2019, almost 30 years after the last meeting, the trap cameras installed in the woods finally filmed Vietnam mice deer, real and very alive. So they're not extinct after all, but just we don't know. They don't want to talk to people. It's quite understandable. Despite the photos, scientists don't know much about Vietnam mice deer yet. They seem to be loners. They eat fruit and they're mice deer. That's the important thing. South Island Takahi New Zealand has enough different unusual animals, and people even manage to lose some of them, although the area of this country doesn't seem to be that big. For example, the Takahi, a strange non-flying bird, was thought to be extinct. It was said that the first researchers who studied New Zealand's nature couldn't find the Takahi at all, so they thought it was a mythical creature. But in the 19th century, Europeans still managed to catch two individuals. Did it help? Not really. Then people stumbled across the remains of an unusual bird. Hunters claimed to have seen a Takahi, but couldn't provide any evidence. The result was quite predictable. From the end of the 19th century, the bird was considered extinct. It lasted 50 years, until it was unexpectedly discovered near Te Anu Lake on November 20th, 1948. Imagine the surprise of scientists. It's almost like walking in the forest and bumping into a stegosaurus. Two birds were caught and photographed, and a year later nests were found. Now the Takahi are protected by the state and are breeding slowly. In 2019, there were 400 118 of them. Saber-toothed cat. Okay, when it comes to extinct animals, we immediately think of the most mainstream ones. All kinds of mammoths, hairy rhinos, dinosaurs, and saber-toothed cats. Can't do without them. Predatory, dangerous, with huge fangs, you hardly regret that such a creature no longer threatens humans. The most famous of the saber-toothed cats are Smilodons. They're often called saber-toothed tigers. Those Smilodons aren't tigers at all. It's believed that all wild cats with huge teeth became extinct about nine to 10,000 years ago. But what about their resurrection? Oh! Well, unlike all other Jon Snow in the animal world, saber-toothed cats haven't yet been caught by modern scientists. Of course, there are plenty of places on this planet where a human hasn't set foot, but it seems to us that Smilodons and others are finally extinct, except that doesn't mean that they can't be returned. Only one word, cloning. To resurrect an extinct animal, you need well-preserved DNA, a suitable surrogate mother, and very advanced technology. Of course, the easiest thing to do would be to bring back animals that have recently become extinct. For example, the dodo. But saber-toothed cats are also on the scientists' wish list. So maybe one day, they'll return to Earth. The important thing is that no one decides to set up some kind of Pleistocene park. And that's it. Remember to like this video if you enjoyed it. The mice deer will appreciate it.